the bench today, I have a mini tube screamer. And what I'd like to do is increase the gain. So here is its counterpart, is the Super Overdrive 1 from Boss. And this has a much higher gain here in the drive stage than this guy. So let's have a quick look at the schematic. I'm on the Electric Druid website. So he does a comparison between the SD1 and the Tube Screamer. So first of all, let's look at the Tube Screamer. Number one, the gain stage is symmetrical. And then secondly, it is a 500K log pot. So that value plus that value divided by this value gives us the maximum gain. And now if we look at the SD1 and we can see, first of all, it's asymmetrical. So we'll get a different harmonic set. And we can look at that on the spectrum analyzer in a second. But this is a massive one mega ohm. So one meg plus 33 divided by 4.7 is going to give our maximum gain. So what I want to do is when these are both the pots are on about halfway, they're going to set about the same type of gain. And to do that, we're going to add a resistor between here and here. So at that exact halfway point, we have similar gains. These are log pots as well. So we have to understand when these are set to halfway, what actual resistance value uh, is represented at halfway point. So let's look at a log pot. I've got a pot, I've put a knob on it so we can understand where we are. And so this is a one mega ohm analog taper. So we'll connect to there. And so with that in the down position, that is zero ohms. If I go up halfway, about 170. If I go up Two thirds, let's go to 75%. If I'm at 75%, 730K and full one mega ohm. So somewhere around here is actually the true halfway, about there, and then it quickly goes. So about there is 500, that is 700, and all the way up there is a, is, is a meg. So there's a, a smaller resistance change as we go up and then the higher you get, the higher, the the more the the quicker the resistance changes per unit of turn. When we're about halfway, I'm seeing 100 and 140, say 150. The other pot, which is a 500k, using the similar similar theory, so 150k is a fraction of one meg. Let's say that's about 20 percent, 15. 20%. I think what I'd like to do is add maybe a 100k resistor to the Tube Screamer and see what kind of gain results that gives us. So here's the Tube Screamer. I've partially taken it apart already. Just unscrew this guy. Pull this knob off. Unscrew these things at the side. And there we have it. So this is our gain pot here. This is the 500k. And so what we want to do is cut this leg here and the top part of the leg that's on the pot and the leg that's remaining, put say a 150K resistor between those two points. And that I think should be enough to just increase the gain. So let's try that. I've added a switch so we can switch it in and out. So in this, in this position, it's high gain and this position, it's regular gain. So I'm gonna hook it up to the scope and spectrum analyzer and see if we can see any difference. This is spectrum measurement. I'm doing an FFT of this time domain waveform. So this is one kilohertz, our fundamental. This is three kilohertz, that's five, that's seven. So these are all odds. Uh, if we put an asymmetrical clipper in, it will, we should see in between uh, some even components as well. But right now we're just sticking with symmetrical clipping, which gives us these odd harmonics. And if I flick the switch, we see a slight increase in the harmonic content by a few fractions of dB. Don't know if it's going to be noticeable, but we are driving the diodes a lot harder. And uh, this is only at one kilohertz. So maybe if I wound down this frequency to say 800. Oh yeah, you can see a, see a bigger change here in the harmonics. That's huge actually, so that must be where it's peaked. Uh, high gain, and watch those peaks. Low gain, and you can see the peaks go down. So let's see what that sounds like on the guitar. Okay, I've got the guitar plugged in. We've got the gain, or the drive set to minimum. This is the stock position. There's a humbuckers. Let's go to single coil. Oh, 
immediately more gain. That's great. Now I've got some pseudo Boss SD1 style drive. Probably might want to add an asymmetrical clipper to that, but that'll be another video. Uh, but this is going to be good to provide me a little more gain on my mini pedal board. So it's an excellent little mod, increasing the gain. And please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.